Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today I am in Yellowstone National Park hiking the Sentinel Meadows Trail, and you can see the steam rising behind me there. <laughs> there are a lot of geothermal features where we're hiking today. So come along, it's gonna be fun. Jacob and I will give you the tour. The Sentinel Meadows Trail in Yellowstone National Park is a gorgeous and easy five-mile lollipop loop trail around the edge of open meadows filled with bison and geothermal features. The trail starts at the Fountain Flats Drive Freight Road Trailhead about halfway between Madison Junction and Old Faithful and begins as an accessible gravel road that leads to the Oyo Caliente Hot Springs in about four-tenths of a mile. It is amazing that with so many tourists in Geyser Basin you can usually have this beautiful hot spring all to yourself. Next, you cross the bridge and take a right turn into the Sentinel Meadows Trail. In seven-tenths of a mile, you pass by the Sentinel Meadows East campsite and pass over a small ridge to expansive views of the Sentinel Meadows itself. Continuing on along the trail, after going over another small rise, you begin to see the Queen's Laundry Hot Spring off to the right. We struck out across the meadows to reach the hot spring and quickly found ourselves in marshy bogs. After carefully picking our way across, without getting our feet too wet, we reached the Queen's Laundry Hot Spring and the Old Bath and Laundry House built in 1881. After a short explore at the Old Bath House, we found a much better route back across the meadows to the main trail and continued on our loop. The trail then passes between groves of trees until another small rise, where we were provided with expansive views of yet another large meadow full of bison. Since the bison were blocking our path, we went off trail again and cut through the open meadow only to stumble upon yet another really cool geothermal feature named Boulder Spring. Here we crossed the Ferry Creek and found our way back to the gravel road that returned us to the car. I highly recommend this hike to most anyone. It provides the quintessential Yellowstone experience with minimal effort. Even if you just walk a mile down the trail or even if you take a wheelchair or stroller down the gravel road to the Oyo Caliente Spring, you won't be disappointed to get away from the regular crowd of tourists. We are at the Freight Road Trailhead and uh, about to head out into the meadows. Yeah. All right, the trail heads off that way. It's paved for a while, so shouldn't be too bad. Wildflowers along this trail are beautiful. Look at that. So nice. Lots of them. We are doing a little detour to the Ojo Caliente Spring, I guess is how you'd pronounce that. It is such a beautiful morning. It's nice and cool, dry, not a cloud in the sky. Unfortunately, due to user error, I didn't record any video at the Ojo Caliente Spring, so you'll have to live with this still picture. But it was beautiful. You can get pretty close to it too. It's very nice. So I believe this is our trail. We're splitting off the real old road there and heading off this way into the Sentinel Meadows. Yep, Sentinel Metal tra Meadows Trails, it says. I smell something. And uh, you can see that Oyo Caliente, or however it's pronounced, uh, spring is right across the uh, Firehole River from us here. Trail's a little more narrow here. It allows me at least to pretend I'm on it. You can pretend you're in the wilderness? Yeah. Handy little bridge over the creek here. Way in the distance out there, there's a lone bison grazing. He's at a safe distance, which is good. <laughs> Makes it kind of hard for you to see, but he's out there right near the river. 
noticed a bunch of dragonflies by this little creek as we crossed over it. So many wildflowers. Yeah. It is gorgeous. Yellow ones, purple ones. Very nice. Look at these. All right, we're entering a little bit of woods here, but I think it will open back up on the other side. Look at these beautiful flowers. This is the uh, OG1 campsite, the Sentinel Meadows campsite. It's back there by the creek where all those bison are. Yeah, no shortage of bison. There are some bison out here today. I see at least probably 30. Including, inconveniently, one right on our trail. Actually, we go up over the hill. So Do we? Oh, okay, that'd be good. I think we're okay. No, that's good. Then maybe we can avoid them. <laughs> Gotta give them a clear berth. They, uh, they can be grouchy. We'll keep our eyes on this closest one here. I hear them. Something back there is making noise. Someone's camp. Someone's camp right there. Oh yeah, there's the tent. That's the campsite. If you want to camp with the bison, American buffalo, this is the place. Oh, now I see why this trail goes up over this little hill. Look at that. Look at the herd of bison out there. In front of us. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's some bedded down right in front of us. We'll probably dodge around over there to give them a clear berth. Oh man, breathing hard. Bison in every direction here. All right, we have passed behind, behind those bison. They didn't care we were here one bit. And we are continuing on down the trail. We're summiting another little rise and look into the next valley. That should be the Queen's Laundry over there. Oh yeah, you can see the old bathhouse next to it. I guess you can see the route. Uh-huh. There's a lone bison out there, I see. Way out there. Uh -huh. That's the Sentinel Meadows we just came from. All right, we have gotten about as close as we want to get to the Queen's Laundry, which is here, and uh, the old bathhouse. Maybe we can get a little closer over here, but um, it was a, a a bit of a slog through through swamps. Uh, through, um, sorry, not swamps, uh, mar uh, bogs. <laughs> Got our feet wet a little bit. Probably wouldn't attempt to have had a guide. Yeah, there's there's no real trail over here to the uh, the old bathhouse. It's all uh, it's all uh, off trail, and uh, you want to steer clear of the thermal features because you don't want to fall in way out here. That would be very bad. There's the old bathhouse. <laughs> pretty amazing. This looks like it's pretty solid because bison walk here. 
Yep, fresh tracks. So. And there's a bison right over there on the other side, so we also want to be cognizant of that. Anyway, here's the old bathhouse. Pretty wild. That is a sand. Huh? Sand Hills Crane. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess it's time to pick our way back across the swamp. <laughs> We found a log bridge, which means we're not the first people to go this way. <laughs> but boy, there's this is some serious route finding. So we think it's off that way that is the way to go without sinking to your knees in mud. But uh, back there is the Queen's Laundry. All right, cross the bridge. And another log bridge. We are on the right path. <laughs> If it wasn't for the log bridges, I wouldn't know that we were there. No, exactly. Wild. Okay. All right, we have found our way back to the trail. Right here, the little orange sign. So my guide to you, if you want to try the little adventure, is go to this orange sign here, and then you go off that way and search for the log bridges across the little streams, and then go up just past that copse of trees there and wind your way around on the uh, east side of, uh, of the Queen's Laundry. You should see really faint uh, tracks. Yeah, and, and like Jacob said as we were coming out, sometimes you just got to trust the bison because you can see where they've walked and they're not going to walk through the water if they don't have to. So that was helpful. Okay, I want to explain how we crossed the meadows. When we went out, we went the wrong way. We ended up going right into the middle of some marshy bogs, got our feet a little wet crossing stream. We did eventually pick our way up uh, onto drier ground and made our way up to the Queen's Laundry. However, there's a better way. On our way back, we noticed there's a much clearer route, straighter and drier. You pass by a little clump of trees, then there's foot bridges over two little creeks, one, two. And then after you cross those, it's an easy walk through the grass back to the main trail. And you won't get your feet wet at all. Well, there was a bridge here. I guess you could take it if it was muddy. There's a little pond over here. It's got a couple ducks on it and a bison right there. <laughs> no, I did not see that until I started filming. <laughs> got to keep your head on a swivel here, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. It's the, uh, the bull bison that are all alone like this. They, uh, they're mostly solitary. The uh, cows and calves are what form the big herds you saw out in the Sentinel Meadows. I want to give these bulls a wide berth. They're a little unpredictable. Another spectacular view as we come over the rise. Look at that. There's a few more bison out there, Jacob. Yeah. By at least yep. This right here is a bison wallow. The bison roll around in here to cover themselves with dust to keep the bugs off. And uh, more bison to come. All right, we've come to a sign here that says that the main trail goes off that way, which it does. That'll take you back over to that old road. 
right through the middle of all those bison. <laughs> so I think we're going to take an alternate route and stay along the edge of these trees here for a while and see what we can figure out to get across. So more off trail, here we go. All right, we crossed the plain out there. <laughs> Almost a straight line from the trees back there to this outcrop of rocks here. And uh, looks like there's a small thermal feature on the other side of the, around the bottom of these rocks. So we're gonna check that out and then find a way across the uh, creek here that's below us. Spraying up a little hot water. Fascinating. Oh, there goes a marmot. Rat. It's running in the grass over there on the other side. Can't see it anymore. Went behind a rock. On the other side of the hot water. Yeah. yeah yep, going up the hill. Two of them, a pair. It's looking at us right now. I bet they don't get many visitors here. Spewing right out of the rock. Very cool. Everywhere you go around here. I just looked at my map and it says that this is called Boulder Spring. What a nice surprise. All right, we gotta find a way across the creek and then that old road is just right over there. You can see there's power lines here, so we're close to civilization. All right, awesome. Well, there's a log across, but you still might get your feet wet. <laughs> Take a quick step, huh? I think the side is here. You don't have it. Yep. Like that. All right, we have picked up the old road again. Now it's a short walk back to the car. Ooh, windy. All right, we have completed our loop. We are back at the start of the, uh, the loop. Wind's picked up. <laughs> this is the Ojo Caliente Spring. So all we got to do now is go back to the car, which is maybe a tenth of a mile. It's not very far. We're just over this little hill. All right, that was the Sentinel Meadows Trail and the Queen's Laundry, our little off-trail uh, adventure there. So uh, thanks for coming along with me today and have a great week. <laughs>